Request, press me the first people button. No bad that chat come face yes, me with some. Like for me, I have me a friend and me soul. Game said them a friend and them bad mind me friend. Anytime they ready, yeah. fool. Anytime, stop, stop. One or two, take the long speech from the, the sky. The style is the bomb, the deep bomb, the dang, the dang, the giddy, the giddy. Karumo, I don't care with the bomb, the dang, the dang, the giddy, the giddy. My style is the bomb, the deep bomb, the dang, the dang. Fans have waited and wondered, would it happen? Now it has happened. Now it's all about his debut. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Arsenal, and they face Hamburg. Well, thanks, Derek. After their start to the season, these fans will be fairly happy, I think. They've looked fit, they've looked well-organised, and they've been good going forward. They'll certainly be hard to beat today. Oh, is he going to be punished here? And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Well, they're going for the short one. And the cross goes in. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. And here's how Arsenal will line up. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed. Surely! In it goes! He scored on his debut! Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, Walker's cross is played into a really dangerous area, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Benish. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Mo Salah. And Neymar. It's got to be Neymar. Determined defending. Ransford, Yeboah, Koenigsdorfer. Benish. Oh, good vision. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, I believe changing circumstances in the Bayern match. Alex Scott, who has scored? It's a goal for Wolfsburg. They've scored the opener here with 31 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Oh, good looking run. And saved by the keeper. And now the delivery. Well, thumped clear. Mohamed Simakon. And he read it well, intercepting it. Now, let's see what they can do here. But timely defending when it mattered. Well, he could run onto it here. Can he keep his composure? Not out of the woods yet. Oh, he's done it! And it's a debut double to the delight of his fans.
Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0.
chez moi, je voulais m'attacher à moi, crois-moi mais ou amour. Qu'est-ce qui ne va pas chez moi, je voulais m'attacher à moi, crois-moi mais ou amour. Quand t'as, quand t'as, quand t'as.
like silence could say more I'm a statue like Apollo The silence says enough I'm a statue like a part Tell you running, what are you running for? Beautiful such fashion, bodies on the floor. I don't think it matters. Follow where you go. Don't know what they're after. They're living in another world. But I don't catch you. Don't fall away to find enough that I can save you. I'm trying to save you.
We simply have to focus on this man. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's Arsenal and they take on Mainz. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, I'm hearing that the situation has changed in the Augsburg match, and Alex Scott has the information. Yep, it's a goal for Leverkusen. They've scored the opener with seven minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. And in with a real chance, making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Well, the numbers really speak for themselves and the home side boasting the best defensive record in the league. They're going to be very hard to break down, you just feel. Well, they press the ball at the right times and then drop off at the right times too, which is key to any good defensive structure. Their tactical understanding is absolutely brilliant, which is why they've conceded so few goals. Really good high press. Ludovic Ajork. Very quick thinking there. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Routine, really. i
When the draw was made for this round of the competition, it was this match that captured everyone's attention. Arguably two of the favourites. To... Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It's Dinamo Kiev versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, this will be tense. Both teams know that a loss here and they'll be in terrible trouble. Let's hope it's not a cagey affair and we see some good football. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. And here's how Arsenal will line up. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Joao Cancelo starts. It's still alive. Well, threat averted. Error by the keeper. Might give them a chance. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, the referee opting for the lenient approach this time. I think it's a great bit of refereeing. Everybody now knows the next foul will be punished. And they have possession again. Has a go. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Arsenal restart the game then. And they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Neymar. Rice with it. Casemiro. Strong but fair tackle. Well, that is how to play advantage. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. He needs to get this one away. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. And the right place to cut out the pass. Well denied.
when the draw for the group stage was made. I think most fans had their eye on this match. Two of the very best in Europe, and it has pride of place on the... A very good evening to you from one of the great capitals in Europe. We are talking to you from the Portuguese capital, Lisbon. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It's Sporting versus Arsenal. Well, this should be a good one, Derek. These European nights are always... Could be! And there it is! The opening goal! The ideal way to start! Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Oh, good vision. Madison. Nicely timed tackle. Sporting using width to good effect. Oh, this is looking promising. Now, oh, just the tackle that was needed. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But they dealt with the threat posed. Well, back when the draw was made, no one really expected the home side to be quite as competitive. They looked as though they would struggle in this group, Stuart. Yeah, they've looked a good outfit, haven't they? And it all comes down to their approach. They've shown no fear, they've played on the front foot, and they deserve a lot of credit. But they can't relax now. And that's a very good parry. Superb effort to keep it in. In behind for him to chase. It did look on for them, but not to be. And successfully cut out. Chances on. Well, the break looked promising, but the danger has been averted. I think those stats back up what we've been seeing. Arsenal aren't controlling the flow of the game, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Ugarte. Pedro Porro. Daniel Braganza. Considerable interest in Mohamed Salah. 
He scored four in his last three. What will he... And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It's Arsenal up against Sporting. Well, thanks, Derek. The scene is set for a really... Opportunity! What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Drilled home with true conviction! Tremendous goal! Well, here we can see it again, and it starts with the ball over the top. Perfectly weighted, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Losing possession. Pedro Porro. I'm sure quite a few people were asking the question, what is the manager thinking about playing him in this position? But he has adjusted really well to it, and who knows, we could, Stuart, see more and more of this. Well, not all players can change positions and still play well, but he's proved that he can. Oh, it's developing nicely for them here. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply come up. Por mí, por ti, tú por mí, yo por ti, tú por mí. Mami, 